record. Fab. And while I remember, so recording, I will send the link, but I'm just going to upload it back to my YouTube channel because um, sending out the recordings over email left me with absolutely no storage on my emails. So um, you can find them on there after if you want to go again. OK, let's get this started then and um, we'll see how we feel in half an hour. So if I get you just to come to standing on your mats or in the space that you're working in, feet hip distance apart, let's just set up in our lovely Pilates posture. So the knees are soft, bring an awareness just to your pelvis, maybe do a few of your pelvic tilts, tipping the water at the front of the bucket and at the back of the bucket, just to get your lower back moving. So a little bit of an arch and then flattening the arch and then finding that neutral spine so that your pelvis rests level. Fabulous, okay. Relax your hands down by your side, soften the shoulders and lengthen through your collarbones and then float tall through the crown of your head. Okay, let's bring our focused attention into center and into our breathing. So nice deep breath in. As you breathe in, try and get that breath right down to the bottom of your lungs. And then as you breathe out, just gently tuck your lower tummy in towards your spine. Soften that tension on your next breath in. And then on your next breath out again, just gently start to draw in, just bringing that focus to this area here, a band of tension across the front of our pelvis, transversus abdominis, a really strong corset that sits closely to the spine. Fabulous. Okay, let's add a little bit of movement now. So breathe in, shoulders shrug up. Breathe out, shoulders glide down into back pockets as we tuck through lower tummy. Good, same again, breathe in, relax the tummy, shoulders shrug up. Breathe out, slide the shoulders down, gentle draw of lower tummy to spine. Once more, breathe in, relax the tummy. Breathe out, use this last one just to set that shoulder posture. So really tuck those shoulder blades down into your back pockets, lengthen through and really keep this gentle tuck active now. So a gentle drawing in below your waistband as we float the arms up to shoulder height, keeping that tension constant. And then we float the arms down again, lovely. Now we're gonna breathe in as the arms come up, keeping that tension switched on through your core and then release down, beautiful. And as the arms float up, think about those shoulders anchoring down to the floor and think about keeping your neck nice and long. Two more like this, and then we take it into a little squat. Get those arms and legs coordinated. Okay, so on this next one, as we come up with the arms, we're gonna sit down into the heels, bending in the knees, just a small bend to begin with, and then push through the um, legs as we come back to stand. Got a really interesting shadow. <laughs> it's making me look like I've got an extra pair of legs. <laughs> Fab. Okay, so think about these squats now. We sit the weight back into the heels. So on your next squat, just give your toes a little bit of a wiggle. If you can't lift your toes off the floor, you're coming too far forwards into your squat. So you need to sit back. Beautiful. Keep it going. Just going to try and fix the light a little bit so I don't have an extra pair of legs. Beautiful. Okay, taking those squats a touch deeper now as we're warming up and thinking about the position of the knees so driving the knees ever so slightly outwards so that they align with your second toe and don't fall into your mid the middle of your feet beautiful okay one more like this lots of options coming for those that want the challenge oh sorry i've still got extra legs okay now we're going to hold this squat okay we keep the squat as low as you wish you can take it shallow if your knee's not happy take it deep if you wish draw the tummy to the spine and then just keep slowly floating arms up and down we do three arm lifts two and one, keep that tummy active and then push back up to stand. Lovely, same again with option one, all together now. So we sit down into squat, set that squat, hold tummy to spine, three, two, and one. So you can stay here 
for option two, we add the heel raise in the squat. So we come down, float up onto tiptoes as the arms come up, lower the heels down, keep the knees bent. Three, two, turn side on, and one. Lift and lower and push back up to stand. Good stuff, same again. So we come down, up with the hands, up with the heels if you want. It does load that knee cap up a little bit more, the front of the knee joints. So if that feels uncomfortable, don't add the heel raises in because there's not really any way of kind of offloading the knee cap. You're still working nice and hard if your heels are down. And if you still want a little bit more in both options, why not stay down a little bit longer? So keep going with those arm raises. Don't take a stand up in between, just hold. Yeah, so we keep going as long as you want to really. Stand up when you need to and join back in again. All about building endurance through those legs. Don't forget those shoulders, yeah? We don't want the shoulders up here as those hands come up. We've worked so hard to bring that lovely posture in. Let's keep it going for five. Looking strong, good stuff. Four, stick with it if you can. Join back in when you need to. Three. Two, we are going to take it into a standing hundreds here. So stay in your squats, heels down or heels lifted. We reach the hands down to the floor, spread the fingers apart to create tension through the arms, lift the tummy in towards the spine, and we pulse here for 10, 9, 8, 7, as we come to halfway, six, maybe think about going a bit deeper, five, maybe lift your heels a little bit higher, four, three, two, and one. Well done, drop those heels and push up to stand. This should be nice and warm now. If it's not, do this video again tomorrow. Okay, good work, everyone. If you're with me on Thursday, you get it twice already. Okay, we're gonna just do a really simple balance exercise. So option one is gonna be our tandem stand. We did practice this last week. It's that kind of heel toe alignment with the feet as if you're stood on a tightrope. Just check in for what's going on with your pelvis. Make sure you're not kind of hitching at the hips and make sure you've got equal weight through both feet. There's your first option. Option two, we take it into a single leg stand. So float one foot off of the floor and see if you can hold your balance there. You're gonna need to use this, use that lower deep tummy contraction to hold the weight of this leg. And again, watch these hips. Yeah, when we tend to kind of shift across, get that hip hitch, we don't want that. We wanna tuck underneath and we want to float that leg up. So be really tall through your standing legs. So choose your option, tandem stance or single leg stance. Draw in and be nice and tall. And we're just going to hold this. I will give you a challenge in a moment, but just still with the posture. Really focus. So you can challenge yourself a little bit more. Nothing nasty coming up other than this. So if you want to give it a try, close your eyes. So with both options, heel toe stance or single leg stance, Close those eyes and wow, doesn't that make a big difference? Easy challenge though, because you could open your eyes at any point, refix, find your balance and go again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, good stuff. Okay, second side, let's see how we fare on the opposite leg. So again, tandem stance, yeah, heel toes touching or single leg stance. And don't worry if you need to swap between the two, especially if you've got any long-standing kind of lower limb complaints, you might not have the same balance strength on that one side. So choose your option, set in with your center, find your posture, grow tall, rest that tray of drinks on your head, breathe. Looking good guys, really still, good work. Okay, eyes closed if you wish. 10, 9, 8, 7, remember to breathe, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good work, everybody. Okay, such a super simple exercise and really important for um, the way that our bodies 
um, communicate with our brains, um, something called proprioception, so our spatial awareness, um, which is key for all of us. Okay, we'll do a few roll downs, then we're going to come down onto the mat. We've got some ab work and we've got some back work. So um, you can stay where you are or you can stand along the length of your mat. We'll only do about three of these this evening. So starting nice and tall, feet hip width apart or wider if needs be. Bring your focus back to centre and breathing. Once you've done a big breath in, on your exhale, start to peel down through your spine. Make it matter, every bone in your spine. Give it a chance to move before the next one starts. Until you're hanging softly over your knees. And then again, purposefully breathe in and out at the bottom before stacking back up to stand. And then when you get to the top, again, just revisit that breath. So we're breathing throughout, but we're just gonna pause at the top and at the bottom with a real intentional breath. Every bone in your spine rolls down on its own. Beautiful. Well done, looking great everyone. Just maybe reaching a little bit further and just noticing as we slow this movement down how our bodies open up. Sometimes when we rush these movements, it sends signals to the body to protect because of the uncertainty of what's gonna happen next. But when we move purposefully, but slowly, our bodies feel happy. They don't detect a threat and they allow us to stretch a little bit further, reach a little bit deeper. Okay, final one. So when you get to the bottom of this one, please just hang there and breathe. Maybe bringing yourself into the front of your feet, maybe straightening your legs just to get a little bit more out of that forwards fold. Looks like we're all down fab. Okay, bend your knees and bring yourselves down onto the mat. So we're going to set up um, in a forearm um, prop. L, you're going to set up in a box. Okay. So for everybody, well, for L, <laughs> we're going to be doing our little modified plank. So what I want you to do is have your elbows beneath your shoulders, propping your hands on the mat, palms facing down. Have your feet hip width apart and we start at the head. So have a little look at what we're doing, then you can join in. So we look down to the floor, but we float the back of the head away from the mat. Shoulders always gliding down into the back pockets and then the tailbone starts to tuck under. So imagine you're doing a cat stretch, yes? Yeah? So we took the tailbone underneath. As we do that, draw the band of tummy towards the spine and keep floating the hips off the mat. So we come into a mini plank. It's called a mini plank, but it's still bleeding hard, okay? Especially if you're working well, to shorten your ribs towards your pelvis and draw that tummy in. Pause at the top and then slowly, slowly, slowly come back down again. Okay, I'll just repeat that once more. So head is lifted, shoulders down, tail tucked under, tummy to spine. Keep floating away from the floor. You're aiming to shorten your ribs to your pelvis as you come up off the mat. L. We're going to take it into a box position from here. We're going to do tummy to spine. And then what I want you to do is opposite arm, opposite leg, okay? So you're going to slide hand forwards, leg backwards. Now you can pause here, otherwise keep that tummy tension and slowly float the arm up. Now I'm aware we do this quite a lot, so I'm going to make it a little bit harder for you. Hold the arm where it is, draw three circles in one direction with your leg, and then three circles in the other direction. Tap down. And then we swap. So everybody else just keep going with those mini planks. L, second side. So we stretch, stretch, stretch. Pause. Floating the hand and the foot off the mat, tummy to spine. 
small circles with the leg one direction and then the other direction. Keep a tray of drinks resting on that pelvis. If the arm and the leg is too much, drop the arm down and just work on the leg for me. Okay, let me see these planks. Now, Lisa's looking fab, Isabel, well done. That's it, Will, yeah, brilliant, lovely. Now, if you're finding these planks manageable, you think you've got a little bit more, <laughs> tuck your toes underneath. And you're gonna just squeeze your thigh muscles and see if you can extend your knees. Your knees will come off of the mat now. So you're in that full plank. Ivana, that's it, amazing. Yes, Isabel, well done. Emma, I can't see you, but I'm sure you're smashing it. Well done, Will and Joe. Good work. And you don't have to hold it for long. It's literally an up and down. If the knees coming off the mat is too much, then we leave them. That's great, Elle. A little bit smaller with that leg, teeny tiny circles. That's better. Beautiful. Okay. Whichever option you're doing, knees or toes, maybe you start to think about adding a hold if you wish. Make sure you're feeling it in your tummy and not your back. If you're feeling it in your back, you need to tuck that tailbone under even more. Shortening the distance between ribs and pelvis. Okay. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7. You can hold or you can lift and lower. 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bend those knees, sit back into your heels and stretch your hands away. Good work, everybody. So a really simple plank, but with good control. Working on getting all of those abdominal muscle fibers firing off. Okay, super. We're going to take it into our sideline position now, where we're going to come into the sequence that we did last week. So um, if you remember, there were two options. I'll set you up for the first option and then we'll progress on to second option if you wish. So we're all going to take it into... Um, in fact, let's all take it into a side prop. We'll do it slightly differently today. So you're going to have that side prop again, the forearm prop, but this time on the side. So we're just working through that. It's going to really help with shoulders. Pat, if it's too much, just come down onto your side or use your wedge, okay? But a good place to start. So you've got your elbow beneath your shoulders. And again, just press your forearm into the mat. Lying on your side with your knees bent, feet, hips, and spine all in line. Now take care of what happens to your head. What tends to happen is it kind of hangs down or we look down we want that neck to follow the line of our spine of course you're going to have a little look at what's going on at your legs every now and then but when you do bring it back into that lovely alignment so your neck is always working as we hold up against gravity okay i'll stop talking now lift your rib cage away from the mat and then we're going to take it into a side leg lift so the knee is bent and we lift the outside of the thigh outside of the knee and the outside of the lower leg and foot up and down. Lift and lower. Good, we've got four more like this. Making sure that the foot and the knee are in line and we're not rotating the hip to lift, lift the leg. We're lifting, the, lift the outside of the knee. Two more. Okay, so you can stay here. We're going to do six more, or you can do your next six with your hips lifted off the mat as well. So the hips come up and we lift and lower. So we're in that side plank now. It's super tough, yeah? So only do this option if you feel ready. Otherwise, keep your hips down for four, for three, for two, and for one, well done. Everybody come down if you're lifted. Bring yourself away. Just give that shoulder a little bit of a roll through. Good work. Okay. So we're going to set up again. We'll do it in the same way. So we'll all do six of the first option. Then we'll do six again with the option to add the side plank. So now we're propped up on the forearm. Again, we're pressing our bodies away from the floor. So even just being in this position is going to get your shoulder working really good for shoulder stability. So the bottom leg, if we remember from last week, we float the leg up, we flex the foot so the toes are pointing forwards and we push the leg away, squeeze the thigh, and then we draw back. Imagine you've got um, a button underneath your foot and you're pressing that button. Try and keep that foot in line with your hip. Good, four more like this. Well done, three more. Exhale as we lengthen. Once you're happy with your legs, watch those head positions. 
two and one okay six more with the option to lift the hips as well six this is a big challenge five really work through the tummy just to give you that extra stability four slide the shoulders down three good work everyone super tough two now we hold this last one Keep the, he the heel flex and the toes pointing forward. Squeeze your bottom and we're just pulsing the leg behind us. So that button that was below us is now behind us and we're just tapping on and off. Five, four, push through the hand, push through the forearm. Three, two, and one. Well done, come down. Bring yourself up to sit and just give those shoulders a shake through. Good stuff. Okay, second side. We'll do the same again. So first round with the hips down, second round with the chance to lift the hips. And remember, you could always lift the hips, do one, and then bring them down if it doesn't work for you. Just kind of starting to think about how we can build up. Okay, so knees bent, feet, hips, and spine in line. We try and lift the ribs as high as we can to work the shoulder and to work the oblique muscles along the side of the body. Keep this area as it is, and then we add the top leg lift. So we lift and we lower, lift and lower. Gently draw tummy to spine. We've got four more. If you can, exhale to lift, inhale to lower. Looking good, well done. Three, two, that's brilliant, well done. And one, okay, stay here or lift the hips off the mat and take it into that side bend, side plank and we lift for six. Five, watch the head position. Yeah, four, three, really press through the elbow, two, and one. Good stuff, come down, bring yourself back to six, and give that shoulder a shake through. Good stuff. Okay, so we take it into that side prop position again, this time with the leg press. So, propping up. Hips down on the ground to begin with, but lifting the underside of the ribs. Lift the leg and press, push, push, push. Heel of the foot away, squeeze the thigh and fold in. Six, tightening the tummy as the leg lengthens and ever so slightly releasing as it folds, but always keeping a gentle sense of tension here. That core is working hard. Halfway there, three, Good work, dropping the knee down, feet together at any point if you need to, two and one, okay. We can carry on here for a final six or we can lift the hips and leg press from here. Six, now you're trying to kind of create a nice flat line across the top of your body, five, you've got it guys, four, maybe just try one and then come down, three, looking so strong this evening two okay hold this last one toes pointing forwards heels pointing backwards and kick that football behind you with your heel ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one well done bring yourself up to sit roll through your shoulders and hug those knees nice work okay good work everybody and especially if you tried those side bends even one or two and if you found them tricky, then that's a nice goal that you can set yourself to build up towards. So we're going to just finish with some um, abdominal work. So if you come to light on your backs, we're going to take it into our rest position. Okay. Um, knees bent, feet hip distance apart. Let's just do a few pelvic tilts. So imagine there's a sponge underneath your lower back, just pressing on and off the sponge with your back. Rolling on and off your pelvis. Make sure your feet and knees are in line with your hips. Make sure your rib cage is soft, shoulders are relaxed and neck is long. Okay, then find your neutral spine somewhere between those two positions. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out, set the center, tummy gently drawn to spine. Now keep that gentle tension through your tummy as you float one leg into tabletop. Can we remember tabletop, knees stacked over hips? I think we've all been coming long enough to know that now. We slowly float that foot back down. 
keep that tension through your lower tummy and we replace it with the opposite leg. Okay, so it's all about control around the lower back and pelvis as we bring the legs in and out of hip flexion, which is basically what we do when we walk. So it's a really functional movement, even though it just feels like we're swinging our legs around in the air. <laughs> so keep that constant pressure of your lower back on your sponge and keep that tummy active. The slower you go, the more work you're going to be able to do to control that movement. If you're finding that you're comfortable with this, you've got a nice connection with your lower tummy, your back isn't moving, then we take it a little bit quicker. So we scissor level three, so as one leg lifts, the other leg lowers. Now that requires a lot more strength in your tummy. To help, what you can do is just gently press the ribs down, flattening the upper back into the mat. So we don't ever want the back to arch, especially with the weight of the legs, yeah? We're keeping that tension. Maybe squash your sponge a little bit more if it helps. Don't flatten it completely though, because we want these abs to be working with neutral spinal alignment. Good, this is really, really good exercise. Feels quite simple, but if you're working with that core cont um, contraction and working with that control, you should feel those abs working. Good stuff, L. Obviously, just watch, just single, yeah. But okay, we're going to take the um legs into a single tabletop now. Right leg into tabletop, okay. First option, we take it into hundreds as well. So you've got your knee stacked over your hip, spread your fingers, reach your hands down to the bottom of the mat, pulse the arms, okay. So we draw into spine. Second option, we add the head and shoulders lift. So we reach those hands even further down the mat now to shorten the ribs to the pelvis so that the head and shoulders can float off the floor. We pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, last little push now, 6, 5, 4, head can come down at any point if needs be, 3, two and one super rest down with the head and shoulders bring the foot down let's take it to the second side now left leg tabletop reach the hands down to the bottom of the mat spread the fingers apart create lots of tension through the arms right down to the tips of the fingers tummy is active and for those of you that want more we slide the foot and um, fingers down towards the bottom of the mat peel the head and shoulders off the mat pulse ten nine eight looking great Oh, that rhymed seven <laughs> six great good stuff make sure those knees are over the hips five that's better will four three two and one lovely bring both knees in towards you take those knees a little bit wider if needs be give your knees a hug good work everybody and then we're just going to take it into a full body stretch so we can lengthen those tummy muscles out. So feet to the bottom, hands to the top. Hopefully you've got enough room in the space that you're working in to get a good stretch. If not, find some space later and lengthen from tips of fingers to tips of toes. Feel that um, those abs just being pulled apart after working so hard. Amazing. Then we'll just take it into a little bit of a knee twist just to finish. So bend your knees, bring your arms out to the side if you can, feet and knees together and just gently rock from left to right. Now I'd love to hang out with you all evening guys, take you through a few more exercises, stretch you out a little bit longer, but of course we never have enough time on Tuesdays. We do what we can. But we've made a difference. We've spent, you know, a good amount of time as part of our day focusing on mind and body. So please do visit any more stretches if you feel you need to. Feel free to do any of those exercises again if they felt like a good challenge and you want to do them a little bit longer. But for now, if you want to bring yourself to lie on your side, rolling over with the knees, bringing the shoulder across as well. And then take your time and slowly push yourself back up to sit.